Hello, YouTube friends. I had the express pleasure this week of meeting Sean, who's one of the viewers here on this channel. He's from Ireland, but he lives in Australia. Sean came to the show in Gosford. We had a really good time together, and I watched him play a bit of guitar, so it was a real honor for me to meet someone from the channel. It's not the first time it has happened, but every single time it happens, I'm truly blown away. So Sean, this lesson's for you because I noticed something interesting. I'm not picking on you, of course, just noticed something interesting in your playing that I've noticed with many guitarists and thought I'd share my opinions on how to perhaps improve that style of things. So the idea is like that you want to improvise, but you also have to stay in time, which can be tricky. So I see this kind of thing a lot. person's doing some rudimentary kind of minor pentatonic or blues improvisation but basically no concept of rhythm and I'm not trying to uh, be critical because we have to walk before we can run however I think I figured out a little exercise that might help with this so let me play for you for a second and then show you what I'm doing <laughs> What I'm doing is counting a very basic one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And on every one I'm hitting, I was striking the low A note at the fifth string. To make it even easier, let's just do the open string. And do it nice and slow. So on every one, so we're counting one, two, three, four, and we're tapping our foot, one, two, three, four. So now I'm just gonna play the A. So one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And on those two, three, four notes, we are gonna improvise, and we're gonna restrict ourselves to, to just quarter notes. So it's gonna be one note per beat. One, two, three, four. 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 I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, a more the idea here is that we're forcing ourselves to divide our bar into the one, which is the rhythmic accompaniment. In this case, it's just a single note. It could be a chord, it could be anything, but right now we're just doing a low note to represent that this is the one and this is our rhythm. And then two, three, four. Improvising. I recommend keeping them as just single notes for now, quarter notes, so just one, two, three, one note per number and always coming back to that one and hopefully that's teaching us to balance a bar between chord three notes so play with that a bit if you get a bit more um advanced you could do like one two and three and four and 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 one two and three. but probably slow it down one two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. So that's just one, two and three and four and. Um, another kind of variation would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. So you only play that the A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So I hope that makes sense and I hope that's useful for you. It's just a guideline to get you started so that your improvisations are actually in time and are sitting on a rhythm and you're playing some kind of bass accompaniment between your licks. Let me know if this lesson made sense or didn't make sense or if it works for you. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. It was great to meet you at the concert the other night and I hope to meet many more of your YouTube people around the world. Thank you very much.